Malagueña is one of the most recognized melodies on guitar. It's catchy, has a unique flamenco flavor, and it's played by incredible guitar players. But we can also make it beginner friendly. I mean, listen to how beautiful the simplified version of this melody sounds. The melody is played over two chords, an E major chord and the A minor chord in a cadence that sounds very flamenco. Now, in music, Malagueña means different things. It's a folk tune native to Malaga, played by the incredible flamenco players, and it has nothing to do with this melody. But it's also the popular melody attributed by the Cuban composer Ernesto Lecuona. You can hear the melody in his piece called Malagueña. It's also true that we can hear the same melody from a piece called Souvenir d'Andalusie from a pianist called Luis Moro Gottschalk. I had to read that. This guy is from New Orleans. The piece was composed in 1851, so it looks like Lecuona wasn't really the first one who put his hands on this beautiful melody. Let's focus on the music though. We can play this melody in four different ways. Once we learn the simple melody, we can then add more elements to the notes. Now I'm gonna show you four different ways. We have the show off version of this melody, which is this one. Now, of course, we call it show off for a reason. We are jumping in different positions. So we have 12, 4, and 7, 12, 4, and 7, and 5, 8, 7, 5, 3, and 1, again. Now the last part, 12, 4, 7, 12, four, seven, and five, seven, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, and twelve. Next step, the mellow version of this melody, which is played in one position, and it has a beautiful mellow tone. So we have fret five, four, and seven, and five, four, seven, five, eight, seven, five, eight, six, and we go again. And we finish with five, four, seven, five, four, seven, five, seven, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, and twelve. Next step, the smart version of this melody. It's played in one position, we don't really move that much, it's not even stretchy. So you can put down the E major chord, and we have fret number two, fret number one, fret number zero. I'm always plucking with the thumb. Two, one, zero, two, one, zero. And then the A minor chord, we got two, one, zero, two, zero, four. Again. And the last one, two, one, zero, two, one, zero, two, zero, one, three, one, three, and four. 
5. Last but not least, the most played version of this melody, which is played on the lower strings. So we have 0 on the 6th string, 4 and 2, 0, 4 and 2, 0, 3, 2, 0, 3, 1, again, and the last time we're gonna have 0, 4, 2, 0, 4, 2, and that's 0, 2, 3. 0, 2, 3, and 2. It's basically the same melody played in four different ways. Now, of course, we can add more to this um, simple melody, and uh, each single version is going to sound different because we're going to add a different musical element. Now, for the show off version, uh, we can play it like this. So, we're going to make it really cool to play, really show off. So, for each note of the melody, we add two notes. We have the note of the melody, a pull off on the first string, and then we pluck the first string again. So, we have 12. Zero, zero. We can do the same thing with the other notes. So, 12, zero, zero, four, zero, zero, seven, zero, zero, twelve, zero, 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 seven, zero, zero. Then we switch to the A minor chord and we have five, zero, zero, eight, zero, zero, seven, zero, zero, Five, zero, zero, three, zero, zero, one, zero, zero. So remember that it's always plucking, pull off, and plucking again. I'm doing index, pull off, middle. And I like to rest the thumb on the second string. For the mellow version, we can add a hammer on and pull off. Just a quick embellishment that sounds like this. So the embellishment is played over the A minor chord. So we got E, which we're gonna keep the same. And then over the A minor, we have 5, 8, 7. And when we play fret 5, we're going to do this. So we play fret 5, hammer on on fret 7, and pull off on fret 5. Again. And the last time, we're going to keep it the same. The smart version of the melody is even smarter now because we add the first string open to each note of the melody. So we're going to pluck the melody always with the thumb. But now every time we play a note with the thumb, we also add the first string open. is very simple we have thumb index thumb middle thumb index thumb middle remember that you always want to alternate between index and middle however if you play this one slowly you can also pluck just with the index finger
this up with the most played version of the melody. And this one is played with the full chord, so it's a little bit more challenging, but it sounds really powerful. It sounds like this. So with the E major chord, we're gonna play the G sharp on the third string, fret one, the second string open, and the first string open, index, middle, and ring. Now for each note of the melody played with the thumb, we're gonna alternate the top three strings. Then we change chord and we play the A minor chord, the third string fret two, the second string fret one, and the first string open. Make sure they use the same fingering, right? Finger number three, finger number one, and then zero on the first string. So the melody is on the fifth string, fret number three, fret number two. Now when we play fret zero, we're also gonna play the second string open, so things are easier here. Then the fret three, and the fret number one. So be careful, it's quite stretchy. Last time. There's nothing more powerful than a beautiful and challenging melody. They can also be simplified. So hopefully you can find this video helpful, guys. I love this um, tune. I think it's just a beautiful thing to play. And hopefully with all these different levels, you can approach the melody uh, somehow. Right, take it step by step. It's a beautiful thing to play and I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you liked the video in the comment section down below. Thanks again for watching guys. Enjoy this video and I'll see you next time.